Good afternoon everyone, we're out here on this fine Memorial Day weekend and we're here to do some boat work. What have we done already today? Uh, we tested out using a pressure washer. On our last video we had a lot of comments that it would be a lot quicker and easier for us to use a pressure washer. However, as you can see here, we didn't have as much success with that as we were hoping based on people's comments. It might just be the type of a blade of paint that we have. Maybe it's like a hardier, more durable paint. Yeah. But needless to say, it wasn't any quicker than the sander. In fact, it was probably slower. It took a lot of effort just to get even a little little bit off, as you can see in, in this little clip right here. Now, I do want to say I love when you guys make comments. Last video, we had tons of comments, and I absolutely love it. I, I read every comment, and I try to respond to every comment. So keep leaving comments. Keep leaving suggestions. I absolutely love it. So if you have anything more to suggest, definitely leave a comment down below. We're even going to go ahead and go do a little experiment based on some of the comments that we got last time. We had a lot of feedback on the way that we were using the sanders. Right, exactly. Um, we were using the sanders at an angle and apparently many people feel that that is not the appropriate way at which you should use a sander. Right. I, you know, I, I actually grown up using a random orbit sander probably from you know, about 10 years old, and really I'd always thought that sanding at an angle took off more material. Now, it didn't leave as smooth of a surface, but if you had a lot of material to take off, it always seemed like it, it worked a little quicker than sanding flat. Now, Brandy is a little less experienced, so she was just kind of listening to what I told her to I do. I started off doing it flat, she and did. then he told me otherwise, so she I did. just did what I was told. <laughs> right, exactly. So, you know, I could be wrong, so that's why we set up this experiment, and I'm really actually interested to see the results. Now, what we're going to do is, basically, I'm going to sand both these spots, and we're going to time each each spot. And on the left here, I'm going to sand on an angle, and on the right here, I'm going to sand flat. So, I, I, like I said, I'm really interested to see the results, and based on the experiment, I'll have to make a decision as to, you know, what How we're we gonna... proceed in what we're doing today. Are we going to be sanding flat or at an angle? Right, exactly. So, all the more reason, guys, see, you're shaping this channel right now with yes. your comments. So, we're doing things simply because you guys have Told made comments. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, like I said, keep commenting. It's it's awesome. We really love it. Now, I do want to address one more comment, <laughs> a funny one, and I you know I always laugh because every time I you know use a use a Ryobi tool in a video, I always seem to get the comment that oh you guys got to use something else. Ryobi tools are, <laughs> and you know what? I agree that they're cheap tools, but that's the reason we bought them. Now, if we're gonna ever replace ones that breaks, we haven't had any one that broke yet, but. Uh, we wanted to get another sander here, so we decided to not go with a Ryobi this time and go with a Dewalt. So hopefully there's no Dewalt haters, <laughs> haters out there. Uh, I, I, I personally love Dewalt. I have a few, a few Dewalt tools that are, that are really good, so we'll see how it works. Now, let's get to doing this experiment. guys now remember this was by no means a scientific experiment but I think the results are pretty clear at least for me four minutes and 37 seconds for this square and five minutes and 14 seconds for this square that's about a difference of 37 seconds and I think the answer is kind of clear there uh, I didn't really dowel around on each one I tried to do it about as quick as I could 
at about a steady pace that I would normally do to sand the boat. So I think at least for me, sanding at an angle is a little bit quicker. Maybe for one of you guys, you've been sanding flat longer and maybe that's a little bit quicker. But these results for me are pretty clear, so we're gonna continue to sand at an angle and just for the sake of that it's quicker for us. One thing I wanted to mention was to keep in mind that the hull is not flat. Sanding flat may still win out over sanding at an angle for truly flat surfaces. That's something that I'd still like to test, but maybe for another episode. quickly show you guys how we've been setting everything up on the hard as you can see we have this canopy because you know it's almost summer in Florida now so it's really hot out we also don't want to get skin cancer you can see Randy lathering up on that sunscreen over there but which Jordan refuses to put on well that's the whole point of the canopy I don't need the sunscreen if I got the canopy over my head 95% of the time. That's the way I look at it at least, but teach their own. Alrighty, let's get to work. The goal for today is to, you can see where we ended yesterday right there, to get all the way to the end. Not under really underneath, but at least that first foot or foot and a half all the way down to the stern. Hopefully we can do that by the end of the day. Thanks for watching guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.